Hi everyone, I'm Ken Clairbout, K4ZW. Thanks for checking out our video. With me is uh, Tim Duffy, K3LR, and he's going to give you a rundown on the uh, contest uh, activities at Dayton 2016. Uh, Tim, how you doing? Go ahead. Doing great, Ken. Thanks very much for having me on the uh, webinar series uh, that is sponsored by the Worldwide Radio Operators Foundation, WWROF. And you can learn more about WWROF by going to the website WWROF.org. Uh, tonight uh, we're going to talk about the contest activities for contesters and DXers at Dayton. This is for 2016. Uh, through uh, Ken's help we've been doing this for many years. And so this is an updated presentation to talk about what's going to go on at uh, Dayton. 2016, uh, not only at the uh, Contest University, but also other uh, interesting activities at Dayton 2016 for contesters and DXers. And we thank our sponsor, uh, ICOM America, as well. So uh, this year, Dayton is pretty late in May, it's about as late in May as it can get. And uh, so Wednesday, May 18th, is uh, the day a lot of uh, folks will start showing up. Uh, it is the day before Contest University. And so very close, within walking distance of the uh, downtown Crown Plaza Hotel, the Crown Plaza being the official Contest and DX Hotel for the uh, Hamvention weekend, within walking distance is Mendelssohn Electronics, which is a multi-story building full of uh, discontinued and surplus electronics and so you might want to spend uh, some time on Wednesday afternoon checking out Mendelssohn and of course they come to uh, Hamvention and have a very large uh, setup in the flea market every year during Hamvention. On Wednesday uh, the contest super suite opens at 7 o'clock. Uh, this is on the second floor of the Crown Plaza Hotel and uh, the uh, the whole second floor basically gets taken over by contesters and DXers for four nights. And uh, Wednesday night is the first night. And uh, this particular night, the Contest Super Suite is hosted by Contest University. This is where uh, Contest University registration will be available from about 8 o'clock to 10 p.m., uh, where students that are coming to Contest University on Thursday can pick up uh, t-shirts, books, supplies, and meet other students as well as meet the professors. There is a pizza party at 10.30 on uh, Wednesday night, and it's sponsored by Contest University. So this is a great way to kind of ease into the Dayton experience by coming on uh, Wednesday evening, and uh, it, there's a little bit more room because it's not as uh, populated on Wednesday evening. Here are some uh, some DXers from last year that you uh, that uh, were found at Dayton, and uh, this is ON4AXU and ON6CC and ON4HIL. There's a lot of DXers that come to Dayton, and these guys from Belgium were having a great time. So uh, Contest University is on Thursday all day long, and uh, at, that's May 19th. We start at 7 o'clock in the morning, and this is our 10th anniversary of Contest University at Dayton, 10 years. And uh, this is going to be the best one we've had so far. We really appreciate the support from DX Engineering, ICOM America, the ARRL, and NRAD, all who have made this uh, uh, Contest University possible. We, uh, we start breakfast at 7 a.m., as I said, and the classes start at 8 a.m. sharp. Um, you, if you don't register, pick up your materials on Wednesday evening, you can get them on Thursday morning. Uh, we'll be uh, there about 6.30, and we, you can pick up all your materials at that time. And, of course, you can go to contestuniversity.com for more information. Contest University is sold out this year. Uh, there are no more rooms available or no more spaces available for students, although we are taking a waiting list. We've had several guys that have asked to be put on a waiting list, so um, you can always uh, send us email 
and uh, that is available on the contestuniversity.com website. And uh, we want to thank our CTU 2016 professors. Uh, Val NV9L, this is her first year being a professor. She was a student in the past. Uh, Doug K1DG has uh, been a professor for many, many years, if not all of the uh, years of, of CTU. And uh, Frank W3LPL uh, has been, um, is, uh, he's very busy at Contest University giving three different sessions as well as a small group session. He's a busy guy. Ed W0YK, who is the uh, director of the CQ Worldwide RTTY contest. He comes in and teaches Riddy. Uh, he's, he's phenomenal. Uh, Rob NC0B, that's Rob Sherwood of Sherwood Engineering. He gives a very, very popular uh, session at the end of the day about uh, radio performance, both uh, transmit and receive and transceivers. He'll be discussing some of the new radios that were made available uh, in the last part of 2015 and here early in 2016. Joel W5ZN is our VHF expert. He'll be talking about six meters and uh, what goes on in contests uh, on six meters. I will be giving uh, a uh, talk as well. Andy N2NT uh, is back teaching with us again. He'll be talking, he's one of the uh, best single operator, two radio operators um, on the planet. So he's going to come in and talk about SO2R. It's going to be great. Ward N0AX is um, a phenomenal guy. He comes in and uh, helps uh, with the small stations and getting started. Kirk K4RO, this is his first year. Uh, Kirk was the uh, editor of the National Contest Journal. He'll be talking about contesting the right way. Uh, Greg W8WWB, he's been a uh, professor in the past. He's a professor in real life. He teaches in college and he'll be talking about uh, connectors and um, how, uh, how important connectors are on your coax. Bob N6TV will be talking about some new technologies and the skimmers and waterfalls and the reverse beacon network. And Tim W3YQ will be uh, coming back to talk about tower safety. Wanted to make mention that the Radio Club of America has uh, just joined up as a new sponsor for CTU this year. And there will be several members of the Radio Club of America uh, present at Contest University. They will all be wearing uh, this badge. The Radio Club of America is the oldest wireless club in the world. And uh, we're very pleased to have them participate in CTU 2016. So Thursday night at 7 p.m. Uh, in the Contest Super Suite, we'll open it up again. Uh, this is the Harding Ballroom on the second floor. And uh, the Super Suite is hosted by North Coast Contesters, the Mad River Radio Club, and the Frankfurt Radio Club. And uh, there is a pizza party and also a Quaker Steak and Lube wing party at 1030. We go all out on Thursday night. And uh, so the pizza and wing party is sponsored by Chip, W1YW, Dave, KCC, Chaz, K3WW, and myself. And also, uh, we welcome back the Society of Midwest Contesters that are also sponsoring this big party that we'll have on Thursday night, 1030, at the Crown Plaza in the Harding Ballroom. Hey, here's some uh, folks from last year at Hamvention. Uh, here's uh, Val NB9L, who will be one of our uh, professors this year. And there's Jerry WB9Z, and uh, they were meeting up with SM5AQD last year at Dayton. So Friday uh, morning, or I'm sorry, Friday afternoon at the uh, Hera Arena from 2.30 to 4.45, I'll be moderating the Antenna Forum. And uh, we have four great papers this year. Um, the first paper is from Justin, G0KSC. And uh, he's with the Nova Antennas. And he's got a paper on bent elements for impedance matching and performance enhancement within Yagi Antennas for HF. It is going to be a, a tremendous presentation. You don't want to miss it. Uh, the editor of the ARL Antenna Book is Ward Silver, N0AX. And he's going to talk about its purpose and structure in the Internet age. He's just introduced a new 
revision to the uh, antenna book. So that that's going to be very interesting. And then on uh, the third presentation is innovative wideband techniques in antennas, a new optimized wideband array concept. And this is Dr. Jim Brakehall, WA3FET, who was the originator of the OWA feed. And he's still working and still inventing. And uh, he's got a new concept that he wants to talk about at the Hamvention Antenna Forum. So we look forward to that. And then finally, if that wasn't all good enough, you've got Frank W3LPL. He's going to talk about low band antennas at W3LPL. 50 years of continuous improvements, and uh, that's going to, going to be quite a paper as well. You can find antenna forum papers listed on my website, www.k3lr.com, since 2004. They're available there. Friday night, the uh, top band dinner will be at the Crown Plaza, and uh, it, this is in the presidential ballroom. starts at 7 o'clock. We have a few tickets left. Uh, do not wait. Go to TopBandDinner.com to get your tickets for the Top Band Dinner. Our keynote speaker is Tree, N6TR. Tree is a moderator of the Top Band Reflector. He's also um, an accomplished DXer and uh, contester on the Top Band, and he's uh, very, very active. He, that's one of his favorite bands. I think you'll find uh, Tree's delivery of his... Uh, speech will be quite entertaining. So again, it's the top band dinner on Friday night at the Crown Plaza. Also at 7 o'clock, the contest super suite here on Friday night, May 20th, will open up. It's uh, the same three radio clubs, North Coast Contesters and Mad River Radio Club and the Frankfurt Radio Club. And we welcome the team from WRTC 2018. They'll be having special German beer and pretzels available to uh, help with their fundraising efforts for WRTC 2018. So going to be a great Friday night. And at 10 p.m., boy, it doesn't get much better than this, live entertainment. The Spurious Emissions Band, they perform live in the Presidential Ballroom. If you haven't seen them, just Google Spurious Emissions Band, and you will be treated to some of the, the uh, finest amateur radio music you can come across. So they will be uh, debuting many new uh, songs that they've been working on. In fact, last weekend they were all together rehearsing. We look forward to uh, packing the ballroom for the Spurious Emissions Band. At 11 o'clock, we have a pizza party. It's sponsored by the Potomac Valley Radio Club. Here is the Spurious Emissions Band. And on the left is Sean, KX9X. That's Ward N0AX uh, next to Sean, and there's Kirk K4RO and Scott W4PA. These four guys are the core members of the Spurs, and uh, they are having a good time. This was last year at Dayton, and we can't wait to uh, have them uh, entertain us again here in 2016. Here's some more uh, DX. Here's GD6IA from the Isle of Man, and he's with the Ham Gallery guy. That's Tom Cade CX at Dayton. So Saturday, if you haven't had enough uh, fun, <laughs> here's more fun for you. The contest forum is in room one at Hare Arena at 12.30 to 2.30. Doug Grant, K1DG, is the moderator. And uh, he's got an exciting lineup of presentations. There'll be progress on WRTC 2018, uh, what their preparations are, and uh, this is Delta Lima 1, Mike Golf Bravo, who is the chairman of WRTC 2018. He's traveling from Germany to come to Dayton to give everybody an update. Uh, here's a great one. Building a 21st century multi-single at ED8X. And this is uh, Paul K1XM and Charlotte KQ1F. Uh, then you have uh, the design and construction of an HF, VHF, UHF contest station. Uh, this is AB1OC and AB1QB. They will be giving uh, this talk, and I think this was going to be a, a phenomenal way for you to think about some things that you might do if you're building a station or adding to your station. And then, uh, boy, here, talk about a great paper. At the end, it's an all-SDR contest station, 
And this is Craig, K9CT. He'll be doing that. I just got uh, CQ Magazine today, and I saw that K9CT was the number one U.S. station in multi-2 in the CQ Worldwide CW. So congratulations to Craig and the K9CT team. You know, there's all sorts of awards, and there's all sorts of things you can get at, uh, at uh, Dayton. And so uh, here's George, K3GP, and there's Terry, K8MNJ, who is responsible for putting together a lot of the uh, things here at the Crown Plaza. Past year's contest form presentations are uh, uh, posted at uh, k3lr.com. And on Saturday night, don't miss the 36th annual Kansas City DX Club CW Pilot Competition. It starts at 8 p.m. on Saturday night in room 525 of the Crown Plaza. Here's some more DX at uh, Dayton last year, A71 Denmark Radio, A71 Charlie Tango, and A71 Alpha Mike from Qatar. Saturday night, this is the dinner that everybody uh, waits for, May 21st. We start at 6.30 p.m. at the Crown Plaza, and it's hosted by the North Coast Contesters, the 24th annual Dayton Contest Dinner. And thanks to our platinum sponsors, DX Engineering and ICOM America. Happy hour starts at 5.30. K1AR is the uh, master of ceremonies, and K1AR has been doing this job for a lot of years. K5ZD will introduce the newest members of the CQ Contest Hall of Fame. The main speaker, the keynote speaker, is John Crivelli, W2GD. There are a few tickets left. You can get them by going to contestdinner.com. Here is uh, last year's induction ceremony uh, for the uh, Contest Hall of Fame. And on the left side is our MC, K1AR. That's Doug, K1DG, who uh, was uh, enthroned into the Contest Hall of Fame. There's Randy, K5ZD, who is the director of the CQ Worldwide Contest. Uh, there is uh, K. Craigie. Uh, N3KN, who was uh, the keynote speaker last year. Uh, K was president of the ARRL, and beside uh, K is uh, Carter, her, her husband, N3AO. So Saturday night, the contest super suite, this is your last chance. It opens at 7 o'clock, and it's hosted by the Frankfurt Radio Club, Mad River Radio Club, and North Coast Contesters. The 11 o'clock pizza party is sponsored by the Yankee Clipper Contest Club. Here's some folks having some fun uh, at Dayton. Here's Tony N2TK and Sandy DL1QQ along with Tom KCX having fun at Dayton. Here's some great Dayton links, hamvention.org, ICOM America, DX Engineering, uh, the Contest Super Suite, which has all of the details on all the activities, Contest University, Top End Dinner, Contest dinner, of course, don't forget Ham Gallery, lots of photos from past Dayton's, and please take a look at QTH.com, that's the sponsor for all of our websites, and we do thank QTH.com for their help and donations. Contest related events, you can get the entire 2016 list, go to ContestSuperSuite.com and uh, click on Contest Related Events. Huge thanks to Kate MNJ, Terry, for making all these events happen at the Crown Plaza. 73, and see you in Dayton from K3LR. All right, thank you very much, Tim, and uh, thanks for pulling the uh, presentation together. And as I tell everyone every year, if you see Tim and uh, Terry as well, uh, just take a minute and thank them for the tremendous amount of work that they put into this. I know it's the uh, reason many people come to Dayton, so just let them know you appreciate all uh, all the work they did. And it looks fantastic, Tim. I may have to rethink my schedule. <laughs> so good luck. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone enjoys Dayton, and uh, we'll see you again. 73s. Bye-bye.